Hello everyone, this is Vivek Kumar, a senior software engineer at FANG. I am very excited to be here today to talk about something that's crucial for modern application hosting, that is VPS and Docker. We will dive into key differences, how they impact deployment and scalability, and also explore best practices. Plus, I will also share a real-world success story about the Sue app and how they optimize their infrastructure. Let's get started. First of all, let me give you a snapshot of what we will cover today. We will compare VPS hosting with Docker, container-based approach, and talk about how Docker can improve deployment efficiency, team productivity, and resource optimization. And don't worry, I will keep it practical with insight you can actually use. Sound good? Is our roadmap for today. So first we will go through the introduction to VPS and Docker, key differences and deployment and team productivity. Then we will also discuss about resource efficiency and cost optimization. We will also look for application management and scalability. And we will also walk through practical example of SU app migration. We will also touch base on Kubernetes, the orchestration tool. We will also talk about the best practices for hosting application and migrating to Docker. I start by defining what VPS and Docker actually are. VPS hostings provide a dedicated virtual environment on a shared physical server. You can think of it like a renting an apartment in a big building. You have your own space, but you are still sharing the physical structure with others. It's great for running application with a stable infrastructure needs. With VPS, you get a virtual slice of a physical server. You have dedicated resources like CPU, RAM, and storage. It's flexible and gives you a control, but it can be resource intensive and scaling is not always straightforward. Now let's talk about Docker. Imagine you or your belongings neatly packed in a container that you can move anywhere, that's Docker. Docker takes a different approach. Instead of virtualizing hardware, it allows you to package application and their dependency into lightweight portable container that can run consistently across different environments. This means you can run the same application on your laptop, a test server, or in production without worrying about environment differences. That's why it may deployment much more consistent and scalable. Basically, containers share the host OS kernel, which make them lightweight. Here is a quick comparison. If you look at isolation, with VPH, each server has its own full operating system, providing complete isolation from others. This means, that if one server crashes or is compromised, it won't affect the other. On other hand, Docker uses process level isolation, where each container shares the same kernel as the host operating system. While this provides some level of isolation, it's not as robust as having a full OS per server. If you let's look at the resource usage. When it comes to resource usage, VPS require a full operating system for each instance which can be heavy, while Docker containers share the host OS making them lightweight. Now talk about the portability. Portability is a major advantage of Docker. With Docker, you can create a container on one machine and deploy it to another without worrying about compatibility issues. This makes it easy to move application between environments, such as from dev to proud. VPS on the other hand require manual configuration and setup for each server, which can time consuming and prone to errors. Even for deployment and a scaling in Docker are automated, whereas VPS often involves manual effort. Now look at some differences on terms of the boot time, auto scaling and cost optimization. Imagine being able to deploy your, deploy your application under a second. With containers, that's not possible because it loads very fast. 
by using lightweight text image you can get your application up and running quickly without having to wait for a full OS to boot. This is especially important for applications that require fast deployment such as real-time analytics or live updates. One of the biggest challenges with traditional VPS hosting is provisioning the right amount of hardware. Too little and your application may not have enough resources to run smoothly. Too much and you are wasting money on unused resources. With containers, you can provision exactly what you need, when you need it. This not only saves you money, but also improves efficiency and reduces waste. Imagine being able to handle millions of users with ease. With containers, that's not possible. By using Dix image, you can quickly deploy new containers to meet changing demands ensuring that your application remains responsive and performant. This is especially important for applications that experience sudden spike in traffic, such as gaming sites during live gaming session. Let's move to the next slide. Let's talk about deployment and team productivity. With VPS, setting up environment can be time consuming and error prone tasks. Developers have to spend time to manually configure environments, leading to inconsistency between dev and production. But Docker simplify this by standardizing environments. You get faster onboarding for new team members and smoother CI CI/CD integration. This means your team can spend more time coding and less time dealing with dependent deployment headaches. So basically, it improves also the team productivity. Managing application with VPS can be challenging. You often need manual intervention to a scale and balance loads. You might need to provision new server manually to cope with sudden traffic spike. Docker, especially when combined with orchestration tools like Kubernetes, offer centralized app management and easier scaling. This ensures better stability and performance even under high traffic condition. Now look at the next slide. Let's take a look at this real world example of how containerization can improve efficiency. We are going to explore the case study of SU app migration. The SU app was initially running on 85 EC2 instances to support various services such as search user management and authentication. As you can see from the architecture diagram on the left, each inst instant was dedicated to a specific service, which resulted in a lot of wasted of CPU and RAM resources. This is because each instance was provisioned with a fixed amount of resources, regardless of whether they were being fully utilized or not. This approach may have worked when app was smaller, but as it grew, it became clear that this was not an efficient way to manage resources. The team was facing challenges such as underutilized resources, high cost, and difficulty scaling to meet challenging demands. So what they did, they decided to migrate to Docker and Kubernetes. Let's take a look at new architecture and see how it improved their efficiency. After migrating to Docker and Kubernetes, the SU app team was able to reduce the number of EC2 instances from 85 to 67 while maintaining the same performance. As you can see from the updated diagram on the left, the new setup allows for more efficient resource allocation and utilization. The result of this migration was a 20% reduction in AWS cost. That's a significant improvement in efficiency. By using container and Kubernetes, the team was able to optimize resource allocation, reduce waste, and improve the scalability. This case study demonstrated the power of containerization in improving efficiency and reducing cost. As we discussed, containers are a powerful way 
to deploy application. But as the number of container grows, managing them can become increasingly complex. That's where orchestration tools like Kubernetes come in. Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration platform that automates the deployment, scaling and management of containers. With Kubernetes, you can easily manage hundreds or even thousands of containers across multiple hosts. But what really set Kubernetes apart is its ability to auto-scale and self-heal. It's basically like a traffic controller for your application, ensuring everything runs smoothly. So let's move to the next slide. So what is more preferred? VPS or Docker? The answer depends on several factors, including project management approach, microservice compatibility, web traffic scale, budget, and deploy development capability. Both VPS and container orchestration platform support web and mobile app using microservices. But containers offer base, better service isolation and scalability. When deciding between VPS and Docker, team must consider infrastructure cost, scaling expenses, and complexity of managing the chosen solution. If you have a simple application with a stable traffic, VPS might be enough. But if you need dynamic scaling or run a microservice architecture, Docker is way to go. Think about your project requirements, budget, and a long-term goal when making this decision. Industry adoption varies widely. VPS is preferred by web publishers, e-commerce website, and multi-domain developer for their web hosting requirements. On other hand, Docker is preferred by corporate IP de deployment in support of web and mobile application at a scale. In data center operation through elastic cluster web server networks. Now let's talk about some best practices. For VPS, using con configuration management tool like Ansible, Puppet, and monitor resource usage to avoid over provisioning. For Docker, use multi stage build use image size and regularly update Docker image for security patches. Don't forget to implement orchestration tools like Kubernetes. If you are thinking about migrating to Docker, here are some useful tips. Start by assessing and refactoring your microservices to make sure you can build Docker or container out of this. Develop a small prototype before going all in to find out any issue early. Use Docker Compose for testing and multi-container application. Integrate with CI CD pipeline and train your team on Docker and Kubernetes or whatever tools you are using. Implement monitoring tools like ELK, Prometheus or you can use any other tools as you prefer. And finally magnet gradually using a hybrid approach. To wrap up, Docker offers a superior efficiency, a scalability and automation compared to tra traditional VPS solution. When paired with Kubernetes, managing large scale containerized application becomes seamless and highly efficient. So let's talk about the key takeaway for today's. Docker provides significant advantage over VPS in terms of efficiency, scalability, and team productivity. By migrating to Docker, organizations can achieve cost reduction while simultaneously enhancing team productivity, making it a powerful choice for modern application deployment and management. We also look at the real-world example today for the SUE app case study that proved that Magnetting to Docker can lead to cost saving and better resource utilization. This demonstrates the real world benefit of adopting Docker and Kubernetes for containerized application management. That's it for me. Thank you so much for your attention. I am happy to answer any question if you have. Thank you.